Welcome back to the No Closer channel. I think everyone is pretty surprised and confused that one of the most influential people in the music industry, the Queen of Rap, hasn't received any awards from the Recording Academy. The Harajuku Barbie having no Grammy is a crime. A crime that no one understands, but we will try to find out why. First of all, back to the Grammys Awards 2012. Onika attended the 54th annual Grammys as a nominee and a performer. She wore the iconic Versace red dress on the red carpet and a priest was tacked along with her. This caused controversy and conspiracy theories that Nikki was a part of the Illuminati. Nikki was nominated for four Grammys that night, including Pink Friday in the Best Rap Album category. Although she didn't take any home, this was a big moment for Nikki in the beginning of her career. Nikki was specifically asked by the Grammy producer Ken Ergie to perform a medley of her worldwide hit Superbass and Starships. However, Annika went completely against him and performed the iconic anthem Roman Holiday from her debut album Pink Friday. Nikki performed Roman's Holiday with a controversial exorcism performance, showing off her theatrical skills and channeling her alter ego Roman Zalonski. However, Nikki knew she would slowly start to become blackballed after this performance. This also further made people believe Nikki was a part of some sort of cult group. The crowd was very confused, and the Grammy producers were pissed off backstage as this performance wasn't very appropriate for national TV, and especially hours after Whitney Houston's death. Let's jump back in time to 2019, just after the 61st Grammy Awards ceremony. Nikki talked against Grammy's producer Ken Ailey, just days after the positions, Singer called him out for statements regarding her not performing at the 2019 Grammy Awards. I pissed off the same man Ariana just called out for lying. Grammy producer K.E.N. Nikki wrote on Twitter, I was bullied into staying quiet for seven years out of fear. The statement was in response to a fan who tweeted her confusion over why Annika had never won a Grammy before. And now months ago, in November 2020, just after the Grammys 2021's nominations reveal, Nick spoke again. Turning to her social media, the Anaconda hitmaker expressed her disapproval of the final list getting rolled out and how she too was snubbed several years back. Never forget the Grammys did give me my best new artist award when I had seven songs simultaneously charting on Billboard and bigger first week than any female rapper in the last decade she tweeted. They gave it to the white man Bon Iver, she added. In conclusion, Annika does not have a Grammy because it comes from a personal conflict between music professionals in this industry. To be honest, this changed nothing. Nikki not being recognized by one of the biggest music academy in the world is a crime. No matter what, I think it would be better if everyone acted professionally. We're not blaming anyone, but it would be better. We are still hoping that Nikki will receive at least one Grammy in her career, an award she has deserved for years. An award does not define her talent, but it would still be very nice. And for the trolls, saying that Nikki do not have a Grammy is useless. With a Grammy or not, Annika Tanya Marriage will always be the queen of rap and a musical legend, and the greatest female rapper in the music industry without a doubt. Thank you for watching and don't hesitate to subscribe to the No Closer YouTube channel for more content of this type.